Hello friend, welcome to my channel 5 Minute Pediatric. Few days back I have posted a question on Facebook. The question was a 3 year child who had history of recurrent passes of press stool without pain in last 3 months. For this he received PRVC. CVC was within normal limit except severe anemia. Coagulopathy profile was also normal. No organellomegaly present, ultrasonography was within normal limit and liver function test within normal limit. So what was the differential for this condition? What was the diagnosis? So this picture I have posted, so you have to identify this. So by this uh, uh, image, you can easily diagnose. This is the radium applied scan and this uh, uh, there is uptake by the ectopic mucosa. So this is case of uh, Meckel's diverticulum. Okay, uh, in Meckel's diverticulum, they, uh, you will not get CVC profile within normal limit, coagulopathy profile within, within normal limit. Okay, so let's discuss Meckel's diverticulum. Meckel's diverticulum is most common congenital anomaly of GI tract. So how it is caused? It is caused by incomplete obliteration of omphalomesentric duct. Uh, if uh, we look for typical Meckel's diverticulum, actually Meckel's diverticulum is the outpouching of the ileum. Okay, it is around three to six centimeter, and this question is frequently asked. It is located at the entry mesentric border, not mesentric border. Okay, you have to remember entry mesentric border. There is outpouching, what we call Meckel's diverticulum, and it is uh, uh, two feet away from the ileocecal valve. Now you all of must be knowing regarding rule of uh, two. So uh, it is present around 2% of general population, usually two feet uh, proximal to ileocecal valve, approximately two inch length and can contain two type of ectopic mucosa. Uh, so um, question is also asked, what is the most common uh, origin of uh, ectopic mucosa? So the answer is gastric origin. Okay, usually present before two years of age and found twice as commonly in females. So these are the rule of two you have to remember. Now, what is the most common presentation? So the average age of presentation is two and a half year. Okay, the most common presentation is intermittent painless rectal bleeding. So if the child the typically pass stool as a brick colored or a current jelly colored, but uh, this is painless condition. If the child pass with the current jelly colored with painful stool, so uh, this condition uh, uh, occurred usually in intussusception. So if the child pass painless current jelly, then we should suspect Meckel's diverticulum. The bleeding usually cause significant anemia, but uh, this condition is self-limiting because uh, the as the child becomes hypovolemic after bleed, uh, there is a contraction of splenic vessels and the bleeding subsides. Uh, ectopic mucosa mostly of gastric origin can also be of pancreatic, seasonal or in combination of all these uh, condition, all these tissue. Okay, uh, sometimes uh, 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 present with partial or complete bubble obstruction. So the mechanism behind as diverticulum act as a late point of an intussusception. Sometimes can also uh, cause obstruction uh, uh, due to intraperitoneal bands that connecting residual mesentric duct to uh, ileum and umbilicus. So these bands cause obstruction by internal herniation or valvulus of a small bubble around that band. Uh, sometimes it became inflamed, what we call diverticulitis. So diverticulitis is closed differential of acute appendicitis. So usually, uh, the, this usually present around 80 years of age. Diverticulitis can lead to perforation and peritonitis. So how we can diagnose this condition? So uh, plain radiography usually uh, do not give any uh, significant results. Similarly, barium study also. So uh, abdominal x-ray and barium study do not give any uh, information regarding diverticulum. The most sensitive test, what we call Meckel's scan. This Meckel's scan usually uptake uh, uh, by the uh, gastric mucosa, ectopic gastric mucosa uh, or uh, uh, ectopic mucosa. Uh, these uptake can be enhanced by some agent like semethidine 
ranitidine, glucagon, and pentagastrin. The sensitivity of taste is quite high and specificity also more than 95%. You may get false negative in case of anemic patient and false positive also you may get in into susception, appendicitis, uh, duplication cyst, arteriovenous malformation and some tumor. Uh, some other method you can also use for diagnosis like uh, radio level detect, uh, red blood cells scan, but for the condition, uh, the child must be actively bleed. Abnormal ultrasonography, superior mesenteric and, uh, angiography, CT scan, and sometimes by explorative laparoscopy. So what are the treatment options we have? Uh, treatment options, surgery, surgery is a treatment of twice for symptomatic Meckel's diverticulum. Uh, you may either go for open or uh, uh, laparoscopy. But uh, regarding asymptomatic diverticulum, there is controversy or uh, a debate regarding this. So let's uh, refer to surgeon for this. Let them decide what they want to do for asymptomatic Meckel's diverticulum. Uh, this is the all about Meckel's diverticulum. If the child comes uh, with the painless bleeding, you must suspect Meckel's diverticulum. Hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly like, subscribe and.